So the frigid weather may have us thinking of warm places to escape. And here to get us out of town, Lisa Hedinger and Jennifer Whalen. They're joining us to talk about two uh, very different but much warmer places, Australia and Africa. Yeah. All right. Who's it's, taking us it's where? Like it's so nice and cold here. Hence the fur. <laughs> I don't think you need the nice and. It's just it's just cold. It's just cold. Yeah. So we thought we would take you to places that I mean we we all have been to the Caribbean and Mexico. So we just wanted to introduce you to a couple of other destinations you may not have thought of, but they have opposite seasons. So when it's cold here, it's nice and toasty there. Okay. And so Australia and Africa were our choices yeah. today. Kind of different, and, huh? And they're a little yeah. far away, but we really like I always say. Um, Personally, I live a very busy life. I think all of us do, and I like to think of it as an opportunity to sit back with all these um, <coughs> larger, more um, more comfortable aircraft that they use on those long haul flights. They have the in flight entertainment, so you sit back, you watch. Like I, I, I rate my distance of like it's a three movie flight. Right, right. <laughs> like two movies and a nap, uh -huh. and we'll be there. And good so, food. These have really yeah, good food on these long relax. flights. If you can get through two yeah. seasons of The Office on Netflix in one sitting, you can yeah. get to Australia yeah. no problem, right? Exactly. Yeah. A good way to disconnect. Well, yeah. let's go. So we're going go to go to Australia. We're going to go to Australia first. It's kind of a, so many things to talk about, but in a, a brief segment, they're very iconic for their sports. They're, so they've got the the Melbourne um, Cup. They've got the the um, the racing. The oh my goodness, I spent blank. Kangaroo racing. Is that what you're <laughs> No? No. Oh, sorry. The Melbourne Cup and the oh and my goodness. Formula One The racing. Formula One, thank you. Oh, yes, that's, oh, that's very different. That's a very big yeah. thing there. And I'm not really yeah. used to that Australian or to talk about that football. very much, but they also have their Australian rules football, which is yeah. like our soccer. soccer. Yeah. And everybody's so in love with it there. Yeah, that's yeah. their football. And then in Africa, it's so funny because like you'll see these neighborhoods that are that are like a mile long, and everybody lives in like literally like a ten sh one room shack. But they and they don't have running water, but they have a satellite dish on top because they are so into their sports. Yeah, totally. Wow. Can live place. without indoor plumbing, but. Not the sport. Got Rugby, we got to be able to see that. <laughs> exactly. Um, another thing that Australia is really known for is the um, the wildlife. So if you're like really into the wildlife of different things, of course we all think of kangaroos, right? Koalas. Yeah, alli alligators, crocodiles, sure. racing. snakes. And the koalas, the platypus, and then if you go to Phillips Island, they've got penguins there. The largest in, in Australia. Of I would not yeah. have guessed that. Isn't that awesome? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then yeah. of course in Africa, you've got your African safaris. They've got the big five. So two great places to see. Great oh, different wildlife. What about the wine? Oh, it looks like we're looking at wine. The wine is fabulous. <laughs> Enough of the animals. Let's yeah, talk about the, the alcohol. <laughs> Both of these and islands are both, their destinations are both really well known for all of their wineries. Just right outside of your big city, so you've got all the culture in the mm -hmm. big city and the museums. You step right outside and you're in these beautiful, majestic wine regions. There's a fabulous picture so, of our penguins. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Great food, too. And, and also, too, remember, this is where the Great Barrier Reef is, and this is like the only thing that can actually be spotted from space. The only live, living organism that can wow. see It's like that and the Great Wall of China, right? Or like the, the two yeah. things you can see. Not That's not live, yeah. no, right. sure. No. Yeah. <laughs> not that we know. <laughs> yeah. But those giraffes yeah. are alive. That's cool. Yeah. Well, uh, yeah. And, and then they both have their aborigines. So it's really cool that you can, in Africa and in Australia, Australia's aborigines are the oldest living culture. And they're all throughout the island. So you can do different activities with them no matter what area you're visiting in Australia. And then, of course, you can visit the Villages in Africa. Yeah, and there, there's a lot of different tours you can get on. You don't have to be that rough and rugged person. You know, you can get in like nice um, accommodations, as you know, Jennifer, for your African safaris. Versus I think a lot of people's initial question, at least it would be mine, is like, how expensive is a trip like this? Can you do something like this on a reasonable budget, or is it because you're going so far, it's just going to be costly? It's a good question, but I think, like we were talking before, you need to be hooked up with a travel agent. So we can figure out what your interests are, and then we can hook up with the tourist bureau there and put it all together in a, in a really good package with your airfare and your accommodations. Yeah, I think it depends on your budget, but what, like she was saying, Australia is the size of the United States, and most of us in the United States only have like maybe up to two weeks to travel. So imagine visiting the United States. Like you really need to plan and decide what your priorities are and what you really want to see and what's really important to you. Mm -hmm. And then, um, our, I know that our money goes 
really far mm -hmm. in both these destinations. Yeah. So I guess the value is there. But of course, you decide the budget. You decide how long you're going to stay, what you're going to spend on your hotels. Because, you know, just like we here, have to work with it. budget, moderate, work deluxe. With budget. And the chance to race a kangaroo is really priceless. <laughs> yeah, kangaroos are awesome. They'll like get in your car and everything. Like, oh, nice. They're yeah. very friendly. Do they have to wear nice. seatbelts? So? <laughs> you know who else is really fr friendly? Jennifer and Lisa. And if you want to connect with them to set up your traveling um, this cold winter, we'll connect you at CALiving.tv.